Hello, I am Subramanian from Suman TV. Indian pharma industry has been protecting Indians for a long period of time. However, our lifestyle has completely changed and food habits also changed. Because of that, so many people are suffering with lifestyle disorders. And today, I have Sashiranjan sir as our guest. And he is having more than 30 years of experience in pharma industry. And he has helped so many pharma companies to build brands from zero to few crores of brands. And sir, thank you sir. Thanks, for uh, having you know coming to our show today yeah. sir yeah. today if you see you know 20 years back the situation is completely different and today if you see everybody is running behind the times yeah. right from the morning they wake up by five o'clock and they will be in hurry bari everything is completely occupied by stress yes and in this today's stressful condition many people are getting hypertension yeah. blood pressure yeah. how you say that this stress is causing the hypertension in population sir yeah thanks supu thanks for having me on suban tv platform it's uh, our pleasure discussion sir. yes sir. The please understand that human survival depends upon stress yes sir if you don't have stress you are not a human yeah i agree with you sir to an extent actually yes yeah. so it has to be yeah. the issue comes with a chronic stress absolutely yes right? sir yeah which expresses itself as a bouts of anxiety yeah it starts from mental and then it start affecting you physically okay sir okay. and then you affects your whole system okay sir now because it's a very wide canvas on which we can have hours of discussion or days of discussion you are right but let us limit it to certain very very critical ramification of this situation of chronic stress please sir so let us take an example of hypertension yes sir now now when you have stress there will be certain change in your body chronic stress okay sir okay so chronic means you can say how many days sir for example so if it is happening almost daily okay or 3 to 4 times bouts of anxiety okay and you started your uh, your body started behaving differently okay then you can understand that you are having that you get some unexplained pain okay or and one day suddenly you you find that you are you are getting uh, some discomfort with your head okay you are getting some pain in the neck back of your neck back of the neck right. yeah. yeah you go to a clinician for a check up yeah. and then you are diagnosed with hypertension okay. so let us take a stress and hypertension okay sir now how does it happen yes sir now as a human one hormone that helps you to survive okay that is adrenaline adrenaline if that was not there yeah then our heart would not have been pumping Okay sir the okay. way it is required okay. so suppose you see a dog yeah and you have to save yourself okay. so you have to run absolutely so the adrenaline levels have to go up yeah right yeah so two hormones increase yes sir in your body yeah adrenaline yeah. and cortisol cortisol and adrenaline correct perfect sir. now that is something very interesting yeah cortisol and adrenaline yeah. they will make your heart to pump more so means do harder work so your heart rate will go up so when we have these two hormones in more quantity quantity heart your has heart to rate increases okay. because that is how the order of the body is because suppose you see a lion yeah. you have to you have to run away absolutely then your heart has to work faster to supply blood this is natural correct sir now this has become habit of the heart to pump higher okay because of the chronic stress yeah constantly persistently high level of stress stress yeah leading to high level of adrenaline okay and high level of cortisol, cortisol. in your body yeah yeah and then that has become habit of the heart to pump more so your basal yeah heart rate goes up okay right okay so bp is nothing else yeah. but heart rate multiplied by the resistance by the blood vessels okay okay so a stress chronic stress yeah. will make you hypertensive means your bp will stay above yeah. 130 140 by 90 100 so i think uh, that is the reason sir if you see yeah. i think if that is the case what you are telling many people who are under constant stress yeah definitely they might be suffering silently with hypertension yes and they might their body will try to cope it up okay because for the adrenaline lay based sympathetic nervous system yes sir there is parasympathetic nervous system complementing each nor, other yeah nor adrenaline yeah now this balance is beautiful when you are not having a stress okay sir but in case of chronic stress yeah. this coping ability the balance goes away so okay so the adrenaline the sympathetic activity will have upper hand okay and you will have consistently high heart rate okay and this will cause that is where we land with the bp bp so the point is we have to have control on adrenaline and cortisol 
cortisol. Now cortisol managing cortisol is very easy. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Cortisol has got seesaw relationship like adrenaline and noradrenaline with endorphins. Okay, okay. Very simple. Okay. If your cortisol is high, exercise for half an hour, your endorphin levels go up. Okay. And your cortisol will be taken care of. So, by saying this, you are giving a message: people who are suffering with stress, if they do the regular exercise, they can control cortisol. Yes. Okay. If they do regular exercise, okay, they will save themselves from so many problems in life. Sir, now you, I'll tell you. Many people, okay, we would have heard here and there. Doing exercise will give the peace of mind. Yeah. But I really don't know. Being in pharma also for long period of time, this exercise can control the release of cortisol. Yes. So very useful information, yes, sir. Yes. Right. And second thing, remember one thing. Yes, sir. In today's work. Yeah. Because there is lot of things to miss out. Absolutely. So the fear of missing out yeah. will cause the stress. Okay. So I suggest two things to young people. Tell Either me. Either work or work out. Okay. So if you have time, you won't even office for ten minutes. Okay. Five minutes. Yeah. Three minutes. Yeah. Do some breathing exercise. Okay. Do some stretching. Okay. Get some endorphin. Yeah. Recharge your body. Yeah. And once again go to work. So exercise has to be way of life. It can be done. The breathing exercise. Yeah. Meditation. Yeah. This all can be done for two minutes. Okay. Two minutes workout. Yeah. Can help you override the wave of cortisol in your body. Okay. So you meant to say this, sir. The way we are taking three times food in a day to survive, yeah. to keep our body active. Yeah. So you mean to say that similar fashion, we have to do workouts also in between to keep our mind in control and blood pressure in control. That's what you mean to say, sir. Yes, you do simple five minute calf raises in your office, okay. standing behind the chair. Okay. Done for the day. Okay. Right. So this is how you ma manage your life. Okay. So what are all the other ways to manage stress and control the BP, sir? first is develop awareness that okay so one of the way to do this is meditation yeah. practice meditation okay and people should not come under pressure okay. first learn to sit quiet for 15 20 10 5 minutes okay sir okay doing nothing okay let the thoughts come and go doing nothing okay just be with yourself so simple way okay. that you start managing response okay second is yeah you tell yourself yeah that there are two things one which you can control another which cannot So right things which we can control, things which we are not in a position to control. Con control. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I always get inspired by Rahul Dravid. Rahul Dravid. Right. Great sir. So playing a test uh, at the level of test cricket. Yeah. Every next delivery is going to be a source of stress. Okay. He had a wonderful mechanism of switching on and switching off. How is that, sir? So when the ball is going to be delivered, he will switch on. He will okay. play well. Okay. The moment ball has passed, okay. Either hit ah. or missed. So he will again come he down. He will. He will. No, he will just switch off. As if he is not there on the pitch. Okay, it's a fantastic way, sir. So this and this switch on and switch off can happen at work. Okay. Can happen in family. Okay. Can happen interacting with son. Okay. So this is how we need to train ourselves. But number one remedy is you do exercise. Exercise. Yes. So by doing exercise daily yes. or in between some time, and and you mean to say that, sir? For example, imagine I am working in office. I get one stressful condition. Yeah. So you mean to say that uh, do I stop everything, go aside and do some ten minutes? Stop five exercise? minutes. Do simple breathing. Superb. Uh, simple breathing. Sir. Yeah. Breathe in, counting five. Okay. Hold, counting five. Okay. Breathe out, counting five. Okay. And hold, counting. Don't breathe in. Okay. Hold, counting five. Okay. Do it four times. Your stress will go. Fantastic suggestion, sir. Fantastic. So now. In spite of doing all these things, for example, you take there might be few cases. Still, they are not in a position to control their stress. At what time they should reach to a doctor and take this help? See, the first sign of stress affecting is getting pain, pain, unexplained okay. pain okay. in your body, especially back. Okay. Second is getting sleep disturbance. Sleep disturbances also. If sleep properly. Okay. For eight hours. Okay. If you are getting up early in the morning, too okay. early in the morning. Okay. It means you need to meet a doctor. The boy, the stress has just started playing with your body. Okay. It's time. See, it is never good to take a medication for stress. Okay, sir. For stress. Because it is going to play with your hormone, neurohormonal system. Okay. So okay. So those four hormones, those who regulate you as a human being. Okay. If you start playing with them. Okay. Then you are going to become a patient okay. for a long time. Okay. It's better to manage, but 
when it starts telling on your body yeah. in terms of pain manifestation yeah. behavioral changes yeah. you started getting irritated yeah. shouting at your family members yeah. or your colleagues okay it means first you get the psychology psychoanalyst uh, help okay. get yourself analyzed okay and then s- therapy sir recently we are hearing actually so many young people are getting heart attack because of stress yeah so this is to do with the blood pressure also yes it will be about a blood pressure and yeah. extremely high sympathetic activity okay i told you subhu atherosclerosis is started happening at age of 10 okay 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 right yeah so even 10 to 30 years yeah. there might have been some narrowing of the blood vessels yeah yeah so some extreme event yeah or situation yeah under which a constantly a person is that okay that may take up to rupture of the uh, blood vessels okay or there will be sudden loss of conduction in the heart okay okay right the heart may stop working suddenly okay the patient dies okay it may happen yeah and we never know because we have not done the genetic analysis of everyone okay sir okay what kind of effect the environment is putting on the body okay so it is always better yeah and uh, to be very conscious about your body self actually self yeah and stress is usually usually a great nonsense great nonsense yeah yeah Yeah, little bit amount of uh, stress is good. Necessary. It's like accelerator, Subhu. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you don't press, the car will not move. Yeah, yeah. But if you both place clutch and accelerator, the yeah. car will only p- not move, only produce sign, sound. Yeah, that is where we'll get into the trouble. So you must learn this clutch and accelerator game. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Very nice, sir. Yes, you have to build stress. Yeah. You have to relieve stress. Okay. Build release. Like Mr. Yeah. Rahul Dravid. Yes. Absolutely. So this is how it happens. Now one more query, sir. Yeah. person is taking tablets for bp control hmm. and his salt intake also into control hmm. but he is not able to manage the stress yeah. so what are going to be the consequences yeah then now his bp medications will stop responding and that is called resistant hypertension okay resistant hypertension yeah. then so doctors will increase the more number of tablets and doses yeah, and again that it is adding to the a difficult situation okay and then you start getting the manifestation on your kidney that becomes a difficult situation okay. for doctors to manage okay right okay then you have to go for rescue medications okay and in that process if your bp shoots beyond 180 yeah then you have risk of hemorrhagic stroke So it's a dangerous. Stroke. So managing a stress is a very important art. Yeah. And see, it was ingrained in our culture. Yes, sir. Right. Yes. yes. This meditation, this all. Yoga. These are all meditation, yoga, meditation. Yeah. Exercise. Yeah. They are all important. Yeah. So you mean to say that to have a great quality of life for hypertensive patients, yeah. in spite of taking tablets yeah. and salt is also under control. Yeah. they have to have a very very proper control on their stress management stress management and when it is beyond their capability they have to seek the advice yes, from yes doctor qualified doctor qualified doctor so thank you very much for sharing a very pleasure, very valuable information Always sir pleasure. so with this friends hope you understood how stress is derailing our life though you are taking tablets to control your hypertension your diet is also under control your salt is also under control if you are not able to manage your stress there is no use of any of this medication so please learn to have a proper control on your stress and have a great quality of life let your medication also work at its peak and let your other lifestyle modifications also help you to have longer period of time and a great quality of life thank you very much right my pleasure so much